Ruben sounds too low. Bring him up. Bring him up. 30. He sounds better. He sounds good. Last year they lost about 37 20 against the PSJ, so we know the Eagles have a revenge on their minds. Definitely, we have it behind us. We can see their capacity. It's going to be a really big game. It is faster. 10. That will definitely be the weather. And we're going to be going to the Shores. I can tell. It's pretty hot. We're all super sweaty, so the weather definitely going to be a factor tonight. Yeah, definitely. Well, we did have some isolated showers. Yeah, a bunch of sunshine here. Yeah, a bunch of sunshine. We've seen the clouds, and that's going to continue for most of the game. But of course, we are going to see a few more lingering showers, but most of the moon right now is going to be down until the weekend. We can expect more rain and storms. Things will be cold for them. It's going to drive further south. But until then, you can expect very hot conditions for the game. So just looking at the temperatures right now, they are ranging from the mid 90s to the low 100s. But then things are going to be a little bit cooler once the sun goes down, and we're going to be 30. 30. By tomorrow afternoon, that's when the bulk of the rain and storms are going to be filtering across the Rio Grande Valley. Some of those storms could potentially be on the strong side. We can also expect pockets of heavy rainfall as well. But again, we are in those drought conditions. 15. So we do potentially get a rain, and it is going to be good for everyone. So hopefully, we do. Rain chances that we've been anticipating for and waiting for a very, very long while. On cam! Yeah, better tomorrow than today, so that's the party that likes to take care of tonight. Well, I'm going to send it over to my co anchor, Derek Garcia, from my here. It's actually an alumni of Brownsville, Atlanta, so I don't know who he's rooting for, but Derek, <laughs> take it away. Clear! Uh, absolutely no bias here at all. Derek, I need to bring it around now. Give me a minute. 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 Give me a in open standby boxes, Joe. Parents are expressing their concerns with the condition of the home suffering. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. That it's poor children at risk and potential. In boxes, Joe. Joe. Joe DeLeon is live at the site. I'm trying to take a look at the field. But Joe, what are those parents telling you? Q, Joe. Yes, well, parents and coaches have reached out to me regarding the issues that we're that. facing here at the Harlingen Sports Complex. NBO. The fields are full of holes. Two minutes, Martha. Thank you, too. Coming back on three. Their children may get seriously hurt playing. All right, Miguel, I need to bring your video. I think we can talk to you again. Can you talk to the fields for their leagues year round? The parents say they're being brought to the city of Harlingen. They say no work is being done to fix the issues that they are facing. Now, I spoke with Javier Mendez, the Parks and Recreation Director for the city of Harlingen. He says the city is doing its best to maintain the soccer fields. But it says because the soccer that plays all year round, it makes it difficult for the city to fix the issues. And thought. Happens with soccer year round. And so we need, we, we, we need to right, right, restrict them. Down to One minute, Martha. Right, so we're going to play on the field soccer season. The rest of the year, there's no play on them, there's no practice, nothing to give us an opportunity to get those If they can, yes, please. And let them rest. Q, Joe! Now, Mendez says that they're working on a new comprehensive plan that would include renovations to the Harlingen Sports Complex. On cam? No, not you. Not you, not you, not you. Not you, Martha, not you. Clear, Joe. You go in three. 
two, one, we're up. Live from the Rio Grande Valley, this is CBS 4 News, working for you at 10. Good evening, Valerie. Welcome to CBS 4 Valley at 10. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Derek Garcia. It's Football Friday, and we got to check in with Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale with the forecast, Brian. Well, sure enough, we're making that turn into a wet forecast. We look off to the north toward Laredo and Webb County, where thunderstorms are being done. They're bad, you know, like there's a lot of potholes, you know, um, the sprinkler systems, when they come out, they leave like they five, six inch holes. The right? fields at the Harlingen soccer complex are in rough yeah. condition with large That's holes well, scattered yeah. across the fields. Alex Nunez has been working oh, on the for block? several years yeah. and fears what yeah, they may be injured. It's dangerous. Okay, whether you're trying to bring up the links or you're going to be on camera. Links for the links one? Got you. I've already had a few of them. Hello, hello? All right, I'll go ahead and get a mic check during our break if that's okay. All right, I already see you guys up. Everything looks good. I can see the bars. I'll just get a mic check when we're good. That's just enough right. for sport, you know, but thank you, thank you. you know, we feel like from the city, you know, we feel like the city could help us out a lot. It is him, so. You also, know, uh, so at the bottom, the uh, can you make a new, make a new slug for me? Uh, put it after the T1A. It's the responsibility of the city to maintain the complex. Javier Mendez, yeah. the director of Parks and Recreation, says and I'll put it, put it in this one right there. Responsibility. The league does have some responsibility, well, and so they are, uh, you know, they should be, um, of course, just put, uh, uh, put in, you know, these holes. We, I copy we, Brian's course, probably provide enough material, but fill in the holes, Damn. um, and, uh, be striping, you know, the field One minute. play and practice. In 2016, the city developed a comprehensive plan with the soccer complex on the list of renovations. For now, just put, like, the winner is, and then since Brian's going to pretty much pick up the name and put it on the, behind, on the screen. So we're bringing up Brian and I'll... We're not bringing it right, we're just putting the link, so I'd like at the little bottom text to just put like... Actually, don't put it, just put the link, I put it in the coding. Maybe Brian will go in there and do it himself. No, no. 30. Yeah, I just put like the... Here, I got it, actually. The rest of the year, there's no play on them, there's no practice, nothing, to give us an opportunity to get those fields. And let them rest. Alex agrees with Mendes if it helps keep the fields in good condition. I think it's for the best. You know. But what's at play in Republican politics we as the Republican led Senate begins to decide the fate yes, of one of their own? We stand adjourned until the members Brent? notify my office. Of okay, the yeah, we already put it in. It's just generator winner. We just don't have the name. So we can go in there and put it in. Dan Patrick typically yields the power. Oh, okay, okay. Then I already have it in there as well. Shut business down as Senate president. Serious. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much right up to T1A, so you're going to be tossing us a break as well after the winner. Okay, thank you. With one final warning. You're not to talk to anyone about this trial. The decision whether to remove one of their former colleagues Okay, there we go. He's going to go to do it. So for now, I just told him it's going to be up to T1A. To impeach General King Pax. Article and draw senators' names randomly. Ten, which they will have to announce either I Brian, or by teasers. They will sustain the articles of impeachment in Austin. Monica Madden, back to you. Thanks, Monica. The senators are expected to return to the Capitol Saturday morning at 9 a.m. to resume those deliberations. All right, let's do this. All the highlights in today's games on Cover Four. Stay with us. Go ahead, Brian. And great news: we have the winner of the generator giveaway. Jimmy Jimenez of Westlaco. Jimmy Jimenez of Westlaco, you've got yourself one spiffy generator. All right, good hurricane season to you. I hope we don't get one though. Anyway, congratulations, Jimmy, for playing. And fade to take break. All right, in break from front, coming back 1331. Did they hang up on me? Yeah, cause Brian. Hey Blake, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. Now you can see. Wow. Yeah. I can hear you. You can see me. 
All right. I just need you to speak up a little louder. A little louder. You sound low on my end.